Hello, what's up, what's up mga kachikahan? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, ang Pinay Travel RN. Okay, so before we start this video, I want to say a huge shout out to Terencio family, uh, Febre family, Tabukol family, Buitron family, Reyes family, and all the families, okay? <laughs> Ayan, para walang away. Say belated happy birthday to Gino Ralph, Jill, Christian Espiritu, Enzo, uh, Isha Macario, uh, to my high school classmate Esti Tankintik, hello, and also to my college uh, classmate, belated happy birthday also to Marie Lugan. Sophia Apostol, belated happy birthday, Norma Gaza. Danica Montalban, Boy Careto, Josie Pancho. Belated happy birthday to you guys and to all the Kachikahan that is celebrating birthday for this month. For this month. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Oh, and also I just want to say congratulations to our uh, Pinay Travel RN Weekly Lucky Winners who received 1,000 pesos just by completing our 200-hour watch uh, challenge. Okay, congratulations to you, Irish Jane, Norma San Juan, Gemaline Magkalayo, Dori Cruz Lacap, Pam Pajares, Daisy Godoy, oh, Miss Daisy Godoy, belated happy birthday to you as well, and Aya Hill. Okay, so guys, keep on watching our uh, YouTube videos, Pinay Travel RN videos, and please follow the instructions for a chance to win 1,000 pesos. Okay, so for this video, guys, we will be talking about the frequently asked questions about travel nursing one of the frequently asked questions about travel nursing is how many years experience you need as a staff nurse before you could apply as a travel nurse the agency requires a nurse to have at least one year of experience other agencies they require two years experience so it depends on the agency so the next question is how much can you make as a travel nurse pretty interesting so when it comes to pay and when it comes to how much can you earn this really depends on the location okay Every location, every state, they have different rates. Okay, so in California, California is the highest paying state for the registered nurses in general. The rate also depends on what specialty. Okay, so what specialty of nursing you are applying, like a ICU, um, rehab, NICU, PQ, PEDIA, and stuff like that. Uh, I will just give you an example for Texas. Okay, me as a dialysis nurse in Texas, it still depends on which city you will be um, assigned. So in Texas, big cities like Austin, Houston, Dallas, they would offer higher rates. Some agencies would give you rates like blended rates per week between $2,800 to $3,600 for hemodialysis in, uh, in Texas. Okay, mga kachikahan, unfortunately, nowadays, I am seeing a lot of cut, a lot of drop in those rates. That's how it is. Okay, I'm not gonna elaborate on that one. Next frequently asked question, what is the typical assignment length? So the typical assignment length is 13 weeks. 
Okay, so next question. Can I bring my family and pet with me while I while I travel? Well, of course. Yes, you can bring your family and your pet, but there are some agencies I've heard like crucial that uh, you are not allowed to bring your family. Uh, I was talking to one of the ICU travel nurses and she told me that she's with Crucial and uh, I think they have their own uh, bus service and they have their own room and some of them, they have to share the room with other nurses so they're not allowed to bring their family okay can you be a travel nurse as as a new graduate unfortunately no you have to have at least a year of experience okay so can travel nurses choose where they go yes of course you can choose where you want to go okay and also choose the higher rate so medical insurance and 401 and other benefits are they all included when you become a travel nurse this depends on the agency okay you have to talk to the recruiter you have to ask pretty much a lot of questions about the medical benefits medical insurance 401 and other benefits so if that particular agency does not include any of those benefits you can go ahead and choose other agencies there are lots tons of agencies out there okay so if you get cancelled due to low census do i get full pay okay so for this question and all unfortunately there are a lot of uh, cancelled contract I've heard from other travel nurses that even before they start their contract, uh, they already receive a call from their recruiter saying that the contract was canceled. So on that case, the agency will not pay you. You will not receive any pay at all if you haven't started your contract, okay? But for those midway, like, for, for this week, you already finished your three or four times scheduled assignment for that week. And then the following week, the recruiter will tell you, hey, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but the hospital or the facility canceled your contract. You will only receive that particular um, assignment that you have worked. For that particular uh, week alone other than that the remaining dates you will no longer get paid sometimes it depends it depends on the situation it's a case-to-case -case basis you just have to talk to your recruiter okay my husband travels with me and uh, and uh, I really wanted to stay in a hotel or motel which is closer to the hospital where I will be working uh, and also just in case that I will be canceled or my contract will get canceled at least I am not tied on a particular lease because I've heard some nurses who had a lease for three months and then all of a sudden, even before they start their contract, they got canceled. And oh, that is not, that is not good. But anyway, guys, okay, that's it so for today. If you have any questions, just send me those uh, questions. You can visit my Facebook page, Pinay Travel RN. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Pinay Travel RN. And also, YouTube channel of my daughter, The Julia Vibes. Please subscribe, watch our video, like, comment, share, and hit the notification like bell. Like okay? our page, Facebook page, Pinay Travel RN, The Julia Vibes and Kachikahan Grill. Okay, mga Kachikahan. Until next time. Okay, see you guys later. Bye!